Yo, what's up guys? Felix from Flipping Medical Commodities University. I also run the Giant Lifestyle YouTube channel. So the scenery behind me looks a bit different because I'm actually back down in Miami. I was in Virginia for the weekend and because there's like two feet of snow in New Jersey, there were crazy delays and there were no flights back. So I said, you know what? Why fly back or try to drive back to a blizzard? Let me go to the warm weather. So back down in Miami Beach, let me try to show you guys my view so i got this little studio for the week really nice and uh yeah so i'm in miami and i actually got sent this video about basically somebody basically talking about startup costs about the medical commodities business that nobody talks about so i kind of breezed through it never really watched it but i wanted to watch it with you guys and react and give my opinion as far as my medical commodity business because Readjusting the camera a bit because I have systems and employees in place. I'm still making money while I'm down here um, You know, and it's kind of automated which is a great feeling and allows me to be in different parts of the country um, And you know live my life and not let you know my business control me because if you know I heard Robert Kiyosaki say if you step away from your business and your business can't run itself You don't run a business you run a job. So let's watch this video. Let's see our reaction. It's about 23 minutes long uh, we'll skip over some parts and uh, let's get into it. It's that this is Tatum Talk. Hey y'all, it's that this is Tatum Talk. Today I'm talking about the medical commodities business. Your girl tried it out. So was it a hit or was it a miss? We gonna talk it out. Just a thing, I put this in my last video when I was in Miami when I stayed in that hotel. My personal opinion, don't try nothing out. If you just go to try something out, like, hey, I'm going to try this out and see if it works. I think that's a bad mentality. Even if you are just going to test the waters, already assume that you're going to succeed with it. Because when you say, oh, I'm just going to try it out. If it works for me, I'll do it. If not, I'll, you know, I'll fall back on it. That's a losing mentality. Go in with the prediction or the belief that you already succeed at it. two videos ago I will link that video below this one if you didn't see it about two videos ago I talked about how I was waiting to hear from the insurance board as to whether or not they were going to approve me for an insurance license because I have a felony right after federal incarceration federal indictment I had to do one more step which was get the approval from the, the commissioners on the uh, approve me to do business with the felony right before I could get my license and that's what I've been waiting on it's been like six months maybe seven now but we're in January so I finally decided to just try something else because I can't keep waiting around I gotta make she must be talking about another business she's trying to do you don't need a business license you don't need a website you don't need um a laptop you don't need a car you really don't need anything besides a cell phone to do this business so insurance license business license you don't need any of that for this business your girl is from new york so i made moves that's what i do babe. i decided to try this medical commodity business that i've been seeing and hearing about on youtube okay so this is what happened first let me show you i'm gonna get into i'm gonna break down my operating expenses um in a minute but first, I just want to show you what medical commodities are. So, for those of you who are not just hearing this for the first time, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I'm talking about diabetic stress. Right? So a lot of people, they are, they have diabetes, and they have a prescription that gives them this medication. However, a lot of people get an abundance or overabundance of what they actually need. So the extras is what I'm buying from them. So I'm not taking medicine that people actually need. It's the extras that they have left over after they use what they need. And in some cases, a lot of people don't need it anymore because they've switched off to using a machine now or something. One woman I met last week told me that she threw away. She threw 20 boxes away. She said they were just sitting around. She didn't know what to do with them. Okay, so... Um, I buy these boxes. Here's an example. This is an AccuCheck. 
and this is one of the top brands. This is 50K. So I bought four of these from her. And I paid her $12 a box. So I spent $48. And what I get in return is $39 a box. Good flip. And I bought four of these boxes. So four boxes of these, these are 100 count. And I think I paid maybe $30 a box, maybe 25 to one person. I bought nine boxes of these. So all together, this is what I have. I have 17 boxes. 17 boxes that I'm gonna be doing an invoice for and getting a payout on. So now we're gonna jump into the operating expenses so we can see, did I really make some money? I know I felt like I was making money, but let's look at the numbers don't lie. So let's look at the real expenses that I put out and then acquisition costs. Okay, so let's jump into these operating expenses. It's definitely more than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so let's start with first thing I did somewhere around the middle of December. I ordered these bandit signs from this place called UZ Marketing. Was recommended in the course. This and two other ones. So I went with this one after sourcing from all three. Felt like I got the best price here. Then it was this amount was included uh, taxes. I think it was free shipping. Um, this got me 50. 50 bandit signs. And the stakes that hold the sign when you put it in the ground. Okay, so 133.75. Then when it came, I needed zip ties and an ice pick. Zip ties is to attach it to the poles. That's because I got so he could have his own ice pick and his own zip ties. So. I don't know what she means by ice pick. Then I went and bought more, right? So then, um, sign placement, he went out two days in a row, and this is what I paid him. So let me see, I had 50. If I'm starting on a budget, I'm not paying anybody to put my signs up. I'm not paying anybody to do my marketing. When I first started my business, I did everything. I did marketing. I did, this is, this is, this is any business. This is a medical commodities. This is any business. You can't, you know jump into a business if you're starting on a shoestring budget and try to automate it. And then another thing, like, you know, the person who sent me the video was saying like, oh, she spent like, you know, 700 and she made like 800 or something like that, which is a profit. So it shows that the business is viable. But another thing, when I first started my business, I remember I would make a thousand um, bills, expenses, operating costs. Now I'm down to zero, make 2000. Bills, operating expense, call, like like in the beginning, you're literally just feeding the business. You you basically just have enough to survive. You're feeding the business, 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 feeding the business until you feed the business so much that it just starts kicking out insane profits that allows you to put money in your pocket, to put money in savings, to go buy the shoes you want, to go on a vacation. But in the beginning, you're just feeding the business, feeding the business, feeding the business. So sign placement, paying somebody to, you know, how much did she spend? Sorry. She spent. I think I must have put up maybe 20 or so on my own. So 30 signs were left. And he has a car. So my thinking was, instead of me renting a car and doing the labor, let me hire someone with a car and then pay them to do the labor. So three dollars a sign. Mm. Another thing, you don't even have to, you know, I'm already seeing how she could have saved like three hundred dollars because you don't have to go with bandit signs. People seen, you know, bandit signs and the video JT posted or some of the videos that I've posted and they think, oh well, you got to do. Let me open this for a little bit better lighting. <laughs> then people think, oh, you got to do. Bandit signs, that's just one marketing strategy. Go Google marketing strategies for small businesses and you'll literally see, you know, 150, 200 ways to market. There's hundreds and hundreds of ways to market this business. So she cuts out the bandit signs, that's 133. She cuts out 
133.75. Look how much she could have. Look how much she could have saved, right? If she would have just not bought the bandit signs. 133.75. My camera's about to die. 78.45 plus 30.63. She could have saved 250 dollars. And this is what I paid him. I got 60. I paid him 60. And he just had one box. This ad. I'll show you the ad in a second. The ad was Close multiple list. ads. So that comes to uh, what I'm getting back is 156. And then I. So she made 781, right? She said she spent $12. For the 50 count so 12 times 4 that's 48 she said she spent 30 for the 30 each for the 100 count so 48 times 4 30 times 4 is 120 plus 48 that's 168 let's see if she tells us how much she paid for the 0250s I have the four boxes of the hundred I'm getting 280 and then I have the nine boxes that I paid out the 170 today, I'm getting. Plus 170, she said she paid. That's 338 spent to make 781. And that 345. So this is my total, 781 altogether. Now let's go back to expenses. And you see. So her I profit should have been 443. But she said she spent 740. But I told you how she could have saved 250 if she cut out the bandit sign stuff. This. Seven. So what I'm thinking that or if She spent money on zip ties. So I'll just use I, I don't know what an ice then. pick is. I'm not sure. I'm thinking extra money. Extra time rather than I this to go me. And some people's Oh, this is her ad for her sign placer. Yeah, like hiring sign placers, none of that's an issue. The issue I have with this is you shouldn't be outsourcing anything until your business is making enough money. Like in the beginning, you gotta have you have to wear all hats. You have to wear the marketing hat, you have to wear the manager hat, you have to wear all the hats until you get to the position where you have a nest egg where you can dump money into you know, outsourcing marketing and eventually you can outsource everything. But in the beginning, that's where she lost a bunch of monies because she's trying to outsource. I wouldn't even buy, you don't even have to, like I know, I know, I know multiple resellers who do 10K plus per month now who never even done a single bandit sign. So even though this is what you see online, there are multiple strategies and inside my training, I give you like eight or nine different strategies one of them is bandit signs. The other are some other strategies that cost very cheap. Some of them are free strategy that cost nothing. So don't think that you have to do bandit signs and don't, please don't start outsourcing things until you're in the position. I mean, she said she doesn't have a car, which you know some people are, in, are put in that position. But if you don't have a car, you know, you have to get creative. You have to do guerrilla marketing strategies and you could do a lot of other things that are cheaper um good thing she did pick up some product um but yeah no i wouldn't be outsourcing things until you're making the money you should be making for yourself um besides that i mean you know business let's see what else she has here okay so it's just like an outro i don't want to make this video too long um but besides that she she's been doing good with the business i don't know if she took my training or what there's some other people that I've showed the game to that you know went on to make their own training courses I was like one of the first people on YouTube to share uh, the information about this business because of what it's done for my life but um, yeah the business works I would just if, if she sees this video great job keep up the hustle but I would go out there and manage all parts of the business um, and then try to find some guerrilla marketing strategies that are cheaper than bandit signs And then when it, if you do do bandit signs put them up yourself I mean, it's not hard. It's not a lot of work and uh, if you live in a city You know and you're really hungry You might just have to walk and do it if you got if you got a mile stretch of highway or a mile And it's light 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 go up one side of the road and just na ma nail them up come back down 
It's a two mile walk, but it's a two mile walk that could save you three, four hundred dollars. It's really all about how bad you want it in this business and not just this business, but any business. So there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions or you know want to learn more, there's one link in the description that explains everything about the business. There's another link in the description. I've been kind of looking at the camera because I'm kind of looking at, or the screen because I'm trying to see how the lighting is. Um, there's one link in the description that explains everything about the business. There's another link in the description that allows you to book a call to speak with myself and my team. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to put a thumbs up on the video and I will see you guys later. Peace.